Well, howdy. I'm here at my home in my office at Indian Lake Estates, Florida. And with the coronavirus lockdown, I thought I'd try something new. So we have uh, 35 images. I mentioned in the blog the other day about the day where it rained all day long. And I'm going to share a bunch of stuff with you. I'm here in Capture One. If you get it, please use my link. It'll be in the blog post. And notice this red is overexposure warning, which is just a warning. And that's exactly how I want my exposures to look on a cloudy day with just a bit of the red indicating that the whites are close to being overexposed, but they'll be easily recovered. So we got the great blue heron here and taking a couple of frames. These two, the rain is a little more evident here than here. And when I darken the background, it'll be even more evident. This one is nice. I'd lose this flower. I sort of like the pose. Just about square to the back of the camera. Maybe a little bit of head turned toward me. This one, the bird is actually facing slightly away. Most of you know that I use the loop, which is P, and I keep the loop size at large and the loop zoom to 100% gives you a great idea of the sharpness. So I'm going to untag this one by hitting letter A with my system. And since I'm going to be looking at reds only, he's going to disappear. So that's a nice head angle there. Look, getting a little closer. I like the purple flower there. Beautiful head angle there, all green. One lady found the green pictures boring. Here I put the bird up in the frame so I can include this stand of white flowers. Still see the rain. Then the bird flew and I followed my own advice. A 400th of a second, nowhere near enough to make a sharp flight picture. That's the word on the street. And you see the big green cast here and a messy face. Not too bad for sharpness, but this wing pose is horrible. Now I get a much nicer wing pose, but the eye is not at all sharp. You see lots of motion blur there. But we're going to show you on the blog soon how I made magic from this and this. By taking the head and feet from this one, putting it on here, and coming up with a winner. I've been using the Sony 24 to 105 keeping it on the front of the truck with the 7R4. Yeah, this is a 7R4 image. And just trying to get some shots with small in the frame birds that show uh, the habitat at Indian Lake Estates. Here I'm on the South Peninsula looking back to the edge of the South Field. And there's a canal here. And just past this to the right is where the cranes would swim across. Now we're back to the 600 with the A92 to the right of the pier and the bird is in the nice wildflowers. I actually like not this one, but this one where he's looking right at me. He never gave me a side pose and again you can see the rain and the bugs. So I love this. I even like this grass here sort of balancing the, the composition. You'll probably see this one on the blog someday. And I'll often keep similars A and B. I actually like A better. A better. This one better because this has some separation here. Where here it's down. It's not separated from the green in the back. I'll show you again. More separation, less separation. So I'm going to go hit this one with an A and get rid of it. And we still have good keeper. Now another one in the wildflowers. I was a little too close at 600, but it'd be easy to add a little canvas right and a little canvas top. But beautiful look at this bird and the sharpness. It definitely needs some canvas added on the top. Another nice one with the purple flower in the background. Purple, pur purple, purple head angle. Perfect head angle. 
not nearly as good. Here we got the green flower and here I don't like that so I'm going to get rid of this one by giving it an A. This one is sharp. Notice this bird has a big defect on its bill. It looks like he got whacked by something. I'm not, I love the flowers here but I don't love, oops, command zero, I don't love this green line here. Yeah, a little bit better but I need it to be taller in my seat. Now here's the great blue next to Caesar Wood flowers, that invasive, beautiful pose, upper center zone for this one. And then I went to the wide angle again, 24 to 105, to show them the lake in the background. This looks like a bunny rabbit, but it's just some dead stuff. And a few more of the same pose. I'll have to pick from them. Now, why did I move the bird all the way to the right in the frame? Because there were no wildflowers over here. So that sort of works. Then another version, super sharp at 600. And here we've left room for the virtual body, but not the virtual legs. But I still like this one. Ah, this one, pretty much a delete, even though it's close to loving it. But that head is angled away. The bill tip is farther away from me than the eye. More rain, more sharp. And I did this cattle egret. I think I, no, I did that with the 600. And I wanted to put the teleconverter on and come in tight and just get this. But the silly bird flew away. Then I went out again on the afternoon of the 24th. Mostly stopped raining, but the birds were soaked. So I made a few, not the biggest fan of the canal in the middle of the frame there, but when you're in the car, not much you can do. And this is a this is this this is the same bird. And boy, these really show what a wet day it was. And I actually like B a little better. You see, I went down from an 80th of a second to a 60th, so I have a little brighter exposure. And just a couple of warning pixels, but I love this, love the background. So I'm actually going to lose this one. Hi, Katie. I'm going to actually, I like this one much better. The head, the neck is toward me a little bit here. So I'm going to go to this one and get rid of it. And then this was a bird, uh, I think the same bird. I took a different angle. And of course, that's a building, like a, a rain shelter in the background but I could easily put a big lasso around that and eliminate it with content aware fill and then maybe crop a little bit. Then I went up the other way to the north field, did a crane right in front of a house trying to keep the driveway out of the frame. Nice, super sharp, little different composition, not sure. I think I like that one better. And then finally, one of the two birds, this was the smaller one, probably the male, he decided to go to sleep. So I figured it's a good thing. I'm going to try the same thing, head home and go to sleep. So now the four that I got rid of, I'm going to come here. I'm going to go select, select all, and then I'm going to go image, delete from disk. I'm going to hold down the shift key and ask me if I want to delete four images. So I'm in the none folder with four images and I can delete from disk. And then I can go back to no rating. And you can actually, I think I'll give you a sneak preview. Added the feet from here and here to this one. Added canvas. Fix the color and eliminated that mess on the bird's cheek, although he still has a mess on his bill. Anyway, it was fun. Let me know how you like this. I don't know if I'll do any more of these. I wish I could do what Andy Rouse does and get my picture of me talking up here in the corner. Anyway, love you much. Stay safe. Go to the store. Buy some stuff to study. And hopefully we'll get out of this and we'll see you on.
and an instructional photo tour soon. Cheers.